and welcome back guys to another episode. Today we're going to talk about something that, that I think is at the core of better understanding how your brain and other people's brains works and it's a principle called the map is not the territory. Interesting, the map is not the territory. What does that mean? Hey, by the way, very excited, found my blue. You guys don't have to put up with the light green anymore, except for the light green cap. So what does that mean? We have the world out there, the real world, or whatever that is. And that world, we take in through our five senses. We take it in through our sight. We take it in through our smell. We take that in the, in the world in through our taste. We take it in through, oh, I forgot to draw the ear. We take it in through our hearing. That's an important one, it's what we listen to. And of course, we take it in through touch. So we experience the world through sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. That all makes sense. What's interesting though, is that between the sensation of whatever that might have been, sight, hearing, taste, smell, we run all that information through a special filter. And before that information can then finally get into our brain, we filter it. What's exciting to know is that we filter that information based on our previous uh, memories, memories, interestingly enough, memories of memories, past feelings, feelings, one L, feelings, and past experiences. These memories, memories of memories, feelings and experiences have formed a filter over the years. And so whatever we experience, we then modify, change, sometimes even delete, until we make up some kind of map of what the world is about. How can I explain this another way? If you, um, I live in Mount Eliza. So there is the real Mount Eliza and then there is a map of Mount Eliza. Now, Melways have a certain map, Google have a certain map, Apple have a certain map. You notice that if you looked at those maps, they would all be slightly different. And that's because each of those three parties, Melways, Google and Apple, they all have a different interpretation about what is important to them. And it's the same for us. We have a different interpretation of this information based on what we think is important to us. What's exciting to know that is if the information that you're taking in, and we take in about two million bits of information every second, two million. Of that about 132 bits, we're willing to kind of let in, and of those 132 bits of information, seven plus or minus two, we'll actually let go through to the keeper, through to the map. So out of all that information, only seven plus or minus two bits of information we'll actually let through. And that information, We'll, that we let through is determined by the filter. What happens to the rest of the information? One of three things. We either delete it, we either distort it, or we um, delete, distort, or we generalize the information. So we just ignore it completely, pretend it never happened. We distort it to suit our map. And I had an interesting client the other day who was telling me a story about something she'd read on Facebook. And to me, listening to the story, it sounded beautiful, sounded terrific. But her interpretation was that the person that wrote that, that uh, Facebook post was being spiteful. Same information being listened to by two sets of ears or two sets of eyes, totally different end result, totally different map formed from that information. So, we take in the world through these different senses, we filter it, we filter it by deleting information, distorting the information to suit our map, or generalizing that information. And that just keeps further reinforcing the map that we've created. 
And of course, we take in information and then of course we express our feelings in information. And of course, what then gets expressed is all based on this map. So if we see the world as a dark, miserable, unhappy, unexciting, depressing place, if we take it in that way, they're kind of the same feelings that we express. So have a think about that. Understand that your map might be different to someone else's map. Doesn't make yours right or theirs wrong, or theirs right or yours wrong. Just understand the maps may be different. How they interpret the world, experiences, the conversations you may have, that may be different to yours. Appreciate that in someone else. And I think if we all did that, the world would get along a lot better. Live life, perform at your best, and be well.